Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Over the past couple weeks, I have had literally several requests to do a video on the latest Russian weather satellite, Meteor M2-4. This was just launched about two weeks ago as I filmed this, the end of February 2024, and this is very similar to the other existing Meteor series M2-3, uh, M2-2, as well as the American uh, NOAA weather satellites. They're all polar orbiting satellites, and they all send down images freely unencrypted on a couple different frequencies. Now I'm hoping you can hear me on this video because it's kind of windy outside and I'm trying to do this shot so you can see both of the antennas that I'm going to use for this attempt. I've got my L-band motorized tracking antenna here. That's going to be looking at the HRPT high rate picture transmission signal that comes down from this satellite. That's in the microwave band at 1.7 gigahertz. Up on the roof of the house I have my VHF QFH antenna, the Quadrifiller Helix, that's just a fancy name for an egg beater made out of plumbing parts, and that one listens to the 137 megahertz frequency. Now, I don't know exactly what frequency it's actually on. These Russian satellites tend to jump around, they tend to switch between 137.1, 137.9, just depending on the mood of the ground controllers at a given day, and whichever piece of hardware survived the launch. These Russian satellites tend to fall apart pretty quickly. Um, a lot of the prior Meteor series have failed prematurely, so they just kind of end up using whatever radio hardware is still working on a given day on board the satellite. So the dish antenna there I'm going to be recording on a laptop just sitting next to the dish. The QFH antenna on the roof is connected to a Raspberry Pi, and normally that runs a program called Raspberry NOAA, which is supposed to automatically grab images from these passing satellites, save them onto the SD card, put those on a web page so I can download them later. That's been broken for a while, so uh, something happened, either the SD card got corrupted, or the program crashed, or something screwed up. I've been meaning to actually pull that system down off the roof of the house, move it over to the roof of the garage, set up more of a permanent uh, ham shack, more of a permanent satellite interface downloading system, but I've been meaning to do that for a while. I haven't gotten around to it. So currently we're just SSHing into the Raspberry Pi. I'm running RTL TCP, basically just sharing the software to find radio that's on that thing. I've got a computer in the house listening to that TCP stream, and we're going to record the entire uh, 137 megahertz range that these satellites operate on. That way, no matter what frequency the Russians are currently using, we should be able to hear it, and we should be able to record both the VHF transmission and the L-band transmission, and then we can just compare what those look like. I think we're starting to get a signal. It is definitely not as strong as some of the other Meteor satellites. I feel like the transmitter is only half working. Usually I'm getting some kind of signal on the other half of the spectrum at this point. Okay, and the wind's really picking up. The uh, laptop is actually blowing around a little bit here. And the antenna has not fallen over yet, and it appears to be still tracking. And we don't seem to be getting anything on VHF either. This is the best part of the pass right here where it's basically directly overhead. And yeah, we are still getting nothing that looks like a recognizable signal. We're getting some interference, we're getting some static, we're getting that weird kind of half signal on the left, but nothing on the right side of the waterfall. I don't think this satellite is working. So I did successfully track Meteor M24 through the entire pass. We had a little bit of a derp in the middle when the serial port dropped from the dish controller, but I got that going again pretty quickly. And this was a pretty decent, almost directly overhead pass. I was able to record for almost 15 minutes. So I ran those recordings through SatDump just to see if anything came through, both the L-band recording and the VHF LRPT recording, and I got nothing. There was no data being sent down by this satellite. I checked some online satellite hobbyist groups, and it seems like people were receiving Meteor M24 briefly for a few days early in March, and then it seems to have died. So I don't know if it has permanently died, if it is just temporarily down, if it's working on other frequencies and just not transmitting on L-band and VHF. Nobody seems to be really sure. Again, these Russian satellites tend to be a little bit flaky, especially right after launch. They don't always work right, things get stuck, antennas don't consistently deploy, solar panels get stuck. Uh, a lot of things don't work immediately. Sometimes they never work, so we may or may not ever get anything from this satellite. I don't know right now. Now it is possible the ground controllers will be able to fix whatever is wrong, get it working again. I believe the predecessor to this, Meteor M23, 
also had some early issues after its launch. It was tumbling for a while, uh, it had attitude control issues, it had frequency issues, and that one also took a couple months to really get it all working. Um, that one is working pretty well now, so maybe uh, number four will be working again, and maybe we can check this out again in the future. Well, that's all we've got for now. Just a quick video this time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.